French President Emmanuel Macron will make an official visit to Rwanda to mark what he says is the final step in the normalization of relations between the two countries. For years, Kigali has alleged France was complicit in Rwanda's 1994 genocide. And a report commissioned by the Rwandan government concluded the French government bears significant responsibility for enabling atrocities. This is the French connection to Rwanda's genocide decoded. On the evening of 6th April 1994, the aircraft carrying Rwandan President Juvenal Habyarimana and his Burundian counterpart, both Hutu, were shot down with surface-to-air missiles as it prepared to land in Kigali, Rwanda. Though it's still not clear who was behind the assassination, Habyarimana's Hutu minority was fighting a bloody civil war against Tutsi Rwandan Patriotic Front, which had taken over parts of Rwanda with the help of the Ugandan army. And leading up to Habyarimana's assassination, Hutu leaders were using private radio stations to call for the extermination of the treacherous Tutsi. So, within 24 hours of the plane going down, Hutus were able to effectively organize via radio broadcasts, urging listeners to cut down tall trees, a metaphor to turn them against Tutsi, who were considered taller. Between 7th April and 15 July 1994, members of Rwanda's Tutsi minority ethnic group, as well as some moderate Hutu, were slaughtered by armed Hutu militias. An estimated 1 million people are believed to have been killed in one of Africa's worst war crimes, though no one knows the true number. Ever since independence from Belgium in 1962, national identification cards specified ethnicity in Rwanda. Belgium had controlled this crucial part of Africa by dividing the population based on facial characteristics and height. So for example, people with straighter noses were categorized as Stutsi. Those with broader noses were designated Hutu. What is important to note here is that all of this was arbitrary a calculated move by colonial power to enforce its will by keeping what were essentially the same people divided over trivial pursuits such as your height and or weight. The resentment built over years. So, what role did France play before, during and after the genocide? A 600-page report commissioned by the Rwandan government concludes that former French President Francois Mitterrand had knowledge of preparations for the genocide years before it happened, yet kept supporting the government of President Juvenal Habyarimana despite the warning signs. And in the years after the genocide, Paris tried to cover up its role and even offered protection to some Hutu perpetrators. Now, this also reflects the findings of a report commissioned by Emmanuel Macron himself, which said France bore heavy and overwhelming responsibility for not preventing what was a foreseeable genocide. France did eventually join the UN-backed military operation Turquoise on June 22, 1994, but the report says it came too late to save many Tutsi. The French government effectively covered up its role and distorted the truth while at the same time protecting those who committed the genocide. But can Emmanuel Macron help heal old wounds and turn a new page in ties with Rwanda? Well, Rwanda's Tutsi president Paul Kagame certainly thinks so. Let us know what you think on our YouTube page. I'm on Twitter at Ali underscore Mustafa.